Even a simple cut could lead to complications and it called sepsis, and that could lead to death. What is sepsis, and who's at risk, and what are the symptoms? We welcome Dr. Garson Lee, internist and hospitalist at the Queens Medical Center for this morning's Ask a Specialist. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning. What, in, in a nutshell, what is sepsis? You could think of sepsis as exaggerated inflammatory response to an infection or a complication to an infection. For most individuals with a routine cut or pneumonia, they should do fine. However, there are some individuals whose immune response is just not as robust. As a result, um, it can overwhelm the patient's immune response, whereby blood vessels dilate, dropping blood pressures, compromising blood flow to vital organs, and can cause shock and death. And mortality rate pretty high. It is pretty high. Yeah. In the outpatient setting, it can be as high as 80%. Wow. And with medical therapy, it drops down to 30 to 50%. And affects over a million people every, every year. What are we looking at here? So what you have here is, is a bacteria invading the bloodstream, and it's causing an inflammatory response. So this is what we also, you folks see when you take a, a, a blood culture, if you will, and, and that's when you determine it's sepsis? This is not what you see in a blood culture, but this is more of a, a uh, animation, uh, more of a picture to show what actually going, is going on in the bloodstream. Well, who's at risk? Who's at the, risk the, the people most? at risk are people whose immune system is not as well developed. Usually the infants, their, their immune system is pretty premature. People over the age of 65, their immune system is starting to wane a bit. Other people are people with chronic conditions such as diabetes, end stage renal disease, liver disease, and malignancy. Symptoms? What do they look like? Symptoms. Think of your common cold symptoms that's progressively getting worse. Well, on top of that, you have a heightened inflammatory response signified by rapid heart rate, rapid breathing, and, and persistent fevers. And, this, and, the, and the symptoms can intensify very quickly? Yes, that's correct. Okay, what should you do if you think you have sepsis? You should consult your physician immediately. Studies have shown that early recognition and intervention can save lives. Each hour delay in antibiotics administration can increase mortality by as much as 8%. So treatment is through antibiotics mainly or, or only? It depends. You have to have source control. Antibiotics is a primary uh, thing to do, but sometimes they may have gut necrosis. They need surgery right away. Mm -hmm. All right, if we learn, want to learn more about this, the dangers of sepsis, you can join Dr. Garson Lee for a Queen's free speaking of health lecture. It's called An Infection Can Lead to Sepsis. Are you at risk? It happens uh, this Wednesday, August 30th, from uh, 6 to 7 at the Queen's Medical Center, Punchbowl Campus. You can give that number a call on the screen, 691-7117, or go, go to queens.org for information. We'll have all of that on our website at kh12.com. Thank you very much, Dr. Thank very you. interesting topic. And a lot of folks don't know about sepsis. And that they is should. Correct. They should. All right.